Em todo o mundo, milhares de pessoas com HIV continuam sendo discriminadas. Em um novo relatório, o UNAIDS, Programa Conjunto das Nações Unidas sobre HIV e AIDS, adverte que o acesso a tratamento de forma livre e igualitária é essencial para a erradicação da epidemia da AIDS até 2030. Before MRSA was created, a lot of MSM didn't seek services. They used to rely on their friends or on the internet for treatment and for the questions that they had. I don't think even a single transgender on this earth can say that I have never ever been discriminated or stigmatized. Entre outros dados, o relatório afirma que, para cada aumento de 10% na cobertura de tratamentos, há uma redução de 1% em novas infecções pelo HIV. We are continuing to break records, but today we are also facing a new generation of HIV challenges, a new generation of gaps. For the first time, we can show that 19 million of 35 million people living with HIV do not even know they have the virus. We can't talk about just one epidemic anymore. We are seeing different epidemics. Even between one country, there are often many different and complex epidemics, which means that we must focus on location and population. Today, 15 countries make up 75% of the global burden of HIV. If we are smart and scale up is faster by 2020, we'll be on track to end the epidemic by 2030 so that AIDS is no longer a public health threat. We have a fragile five-year window of opportunity because What we do over the next five years will determine the next 15. Centro de Informação das Nações Unidas para o Brasil, Unique Rio.